Hello and welcome. I am Scatterbrain and this is Pokemon 3D. Hi Cyndaquil, how are you today? Oh, he's singing a song. Your Pokemon is looking around restlessly. Oh, I don't know what's going on with him. But in the last episode, we got an escape rope. We also went through this whole... We went through the Sprout Tower, uh, saw our rival, we talked to that guy, leveled up our Pokemon, and we are going to go fight Faulkner now. And I'm just going to spin out of here. Yeah, we're going to go fight... Oh, it even brings us to the Pokemon Center. Perfect! Perfect indeed. So yes, we're going to go fight Faulkner, and then we are going to continue on with our journey. We should have no problem beating Faulkner. Uh, he's not that strong. And we should really start leveling up our Pokemon soon. Because just Cyndaquil is not really going to do much. Um, but the problem is you can't like switch out Pokemon like you could in, in the original games. It doesn't like give you the choice after you kill another Pokemon or after your Pokemon dies on which Pokemon you want to send out. It just sends your first party member out. Which is okay, it's just, you know, it's not it's not the most convenient thing for leveling up Pokemon. So, let's take on these little gymlets. <laughs> gymlets. Anyway, uh, Bird Keeper Abe is who we're facing today. <laughs> Gymlet Abe. Alright, enough of that. Anyway, let's, uh, a level 9 Spearow. Not sure it's going to be much of a challenge, but we'll see. Uh, it, yeah, not much of a challenge. It pecked me a little bit. It, it, it hurt my head. It was slightly painful. Slightly. And he used Ember again. And he's gone. Goodbye, Spiro. I gained 102 experience points and a level 14. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, we needed to be a higher level. All right, Abe was defeated. This can't be true. And I received $216. <gasps> Look at that. He's evolving. It wasn't level 16. It was level 14. Cyndaquil is evolving. Yes, there we go. This is, I haven't seen an evolution screen in this uh, in this game yet. This is cool. Oh, this is really neat. There's just tons of bubbles, and they kind of made a square, and wow, I feel like I may have done something illegal. Anyway, congratulations. Your Cyndaquil evolved into a Kulaba. There we go. I was trying to figure out the name of what his evolution was going to be last episode, and now we know it's Kulaba, which is cool because now we're definitely going to be able to beat Faulkner. I'm not, I have no doubt. The key word is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on. All right, dude. I mean, you don't, I, if you really need to be that intense about it, man, I will fight you. All right. So Quill Lava, let's test out our newest Pokemon, even though he's a, our oldest Pokemon too. It's kind of a weird, weird middle ground. <laughs> um, Pidgey fainted. That was easy. Come back, Pidgey. Go, Pidgey. All right. You should really, you should really try and, te you're really testing the boundaries of your Pokemon team. Two Pidgeys? Oh, boy. I'm about to run scurred. <laughs> anyway, I gained 56 experience. Pidgey's gone. Bird Keeper Rod was defeated. Gah! Is what he says. I gained $168. Dude, your buddy gave me more money than that. Okay, we're going to run back to the Pokemon Center real quick because I do want to grab, or I do want to repair my Pokemon before I go and fight Faulkner. I don't want to fight him on a, on a half-powered Pokemon. That wouldn't be good. I would definitely lose then. I have forgotten so many times in my life to repair a Pokemon before a gym battle that I just, I have to force myself to do it now. So let's restore him to full health. Yes, yes, come on. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Yeah, my nurse Joy voice is very good. It sounds it sounds like a very feminine woman. No, it doesn't. It sound it sounds like a man trying to do a woman's voice. <laughs> is what it sounds like. All right, let's get out of her and let's get back to Faulkner's gym and let's go take this guy out. Not that he's evil or anything, but we still need to take him out all the same. And then we can move on in the story. We could go to the cave or we could go down Route 32. I'm not sure which one we want to do first. I don't think I have a Pokemon that can learn Flash yet, though, so I should probably go down Route 32. P 
People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings, that was bad English, with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. He said Pokemon a lot. <laughs> Leader Faulkner. Oh, a Pidgey. He's pushing those limits the same as his buddies. He only has two Pokemon, so he should be able to pretty easily and handily take this out. Use Ember on him, and oop, almost there. What's he going to use? Gust. All right, didn't do too much damage. We're going to tackle him the rest of the way because we should be able to get rid of him with tackle. I don't have any doubt in that. Yes, he fainted. Again, 91 experience, and Pidgeotto, ooh, might be a little bit tougher, but we'll, we'll probably beat him all the same. We are a higher level, and we're a little bit stronger. He used Gust, yes, we're a little bit stronger, just a little bit, and that little bit is enough to win, and that's what I, that's all I'm trying to do here, I mean, oh, critical hit. Erg, he quick attacked me, I guess that I guess that said. Oh, Pidgeotto fainted! Yes, I'm level 15. There we go. Gained a boost of 10. And what do you have? Leader Faulkner was defeated. Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr Badge. Scatterbrain Gaming got $900. Scatterbrain Gaming received the Zephyr Badge. And I got an achievement. Ooh, badge from Faulkner. Zephyr Badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time. Here, take this too. What, I received the TM31. I stored it in the machine's pocket. By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can only be used once. TM31 contains Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it is both defensive and offensive. Cool. So we got the badge. Let's check it out. Let's see if we can open my inventory. And I should be able to go to here. Uh, I have to use the right click or left click, not the right click. Hey. Aw, it doesn't show my... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, these must be Johto badges. All right. Not Johto, Kano. These are the Johto badges. There we go. Awesome. Uh, I have a new emblem. What does this do? Um... No. Oh, there we go. Arrows to change. Oh, I could change it to the Zephyr badge. All right, we'll definitely have to do that. And yeah, all right. So let's move on here. That's the badge for the achievement that I got. All right, now I understand. All right. Let's go on. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Professor Elm. Ooh. Oh, what was his voice? Hello, Scatterbrain Gaming. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Click. All right. Well, I guess we're going back to the Pokemon Center. I mean, we need to repair our Pokemon anyway. Let's go see what the assistant has to say. Into the Pokemon Center. Let's repair our Pokemon real quick. The assistant is right to my right. And we're going to restore my Pokemon to full health. Yes. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. And we still only have four Pokemons. We need to get more Pokemons. Pokemon. We still need to get one or two more. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Awesome. Let's talk to this dude. Scatterbrain Gaming, long time new seed. I, I, I met you. You were at Professor Elm's lab probably, weren't you? Professor Elm asked me to find you as another favor to ask. Would you take the Poke egg, Pokemon egg? I guess so. Scatterbrain Gaming received the po the egg. Uh, alright. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has the with has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Scatterbrain Gaming, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when that egg hatches. Alright, man. Uh, I have to wait for you to leave? Alright, dude. I'll see you later. I don't know why I had to do that. Alright, we are going to go make our way down Route 32, which should be... It's up this way, I believe. Because I don't have a Pokemon that can learn that Flash move yet to get through, to get through there, uh, to get through the cave. So I don't want to do that just yet. Oh no, Route 32 is down by the ruins. It's this way. That was Route 36 over there. We can't get through there until we um, go to Goldenrod and get the Watering Pail. 
So this guy's probably gonna try and talk to us real quick. No, he didn't. Okay, cool. Let's try and yeah, let's try and catch some Pokemon as we make our way through here. There's a youngster over there that's probably gonna want to fight us. Ooh, a bell sprout! Look at that. All last episode, I'm like, I want a bell sprout. Give me a bell sprout. And now I finally found a bell sprout. I think I'm gonna grab Ratatata out for this though. Because he is closer to his level. Please don't kill it. That really hurt. <laughs> oh, we should go back to the Pokemon Mart and grab some. I should have used Quick Attack. Grab some. Oh, okay. Grab some Pokeballs. Because we definitely need some of that. We also need to go to the Pokemon Center now. See, it just brings out Quilava as your first Pokemon. So let's grab out a Pokeball. Hopefully we can capture it when it's in the yellow. I mean, it's a bell sprout. It's not exactly got, has a, uh, it doesn't exactly have a high catch rate or anything or low catch rate. However, that one works. I think it's low. It's, it, it's high, high is good. Low is bad. And we caught it either way. Gotcha. Bell sprout was caught. Bell sprout's data was added to the Pokedex. Let's see what he is. He is a flower Pokemon. He's 0.7 meters tall and he's four kilograms. And he's also a grass Pokemon. He can be found on Route 31 and 36, and he evolves into uh, a victory bell, or a weeping bell and a victory bell. I don't, we obviously don't have those yet. So, we're not going to rename it. We're going to run over to the Pokemon Center. Oh, there's another fight. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? An Ekans. I guess we could try and catch the Ekans. Um, he's level 4, so tackling him is probably going to kill him. I'm saying that right now. I, I know this, but uh, he's not. Oh, we, well, look at that. It didn't kill him. So we're definitely going to capture him. Uh, I have, if you've ever watched my Pixelmon series, my first battle, uh, a gym battle, I tried to use an Ekans and, um, or not, was it an Ekans or was it a, uh, a the other one? Okay, we obviously did not catch him. We don't have another uh, Pokeball either, so we're just going to kill him. Um, but Arbok, it was an Arbok uh, that I used, and they're poor Pokemon. They're not very good. They're not very useful, so I if even if I had caught him, we wouldn't have used him. So it's not really a loss that we didn't catch him. But we are going to run into the Pokemart real quick. And we are going to grab some more Pokeballs because we just ran out. Welcome to, is this a guy or a girl? Welcome, what do you need? Uh, I want to buy some stuff. Uh, Pokeballs. All right, we will buy, how much P do I have? I have six, that was weird. Okay, we're going to grab 10 of these. And we're going to back out i keep pressing the wrong buttons all right cool bye guy the, the convenient mart register employee let's run over to uh, there the pokemart pokemon pokemart the pokemon center and we will repair some pokemons real quick hi nurse joy i'm back for like the fifth time this episode I would like to repair my Pokemon to full health. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon. Thank you. The egg doesn't need to be repaired, to be completely honest. Just just to be fair, it really doesn't. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Bye, Nurse Joy. There's an old man here. Oh, Quilava, you got tall. Have we talked to you this episode? Uh, Quilava is surveying the area. Oh, he might rob the place. We should get out of here. Why else would you survey the area? Anyway, we are going to get back onto Route 32, hopefully. I saw some trainers over there. They might want to battle, too. Uh, I think what we should do is swap out... Which one should we swap out? Let's put... Let's put Bellsprout on point so that... We can gain him some levels because he is a pretty good grass type. He's not like super good or anything, but he's a pretty good grass type. And I think he would be worth leveling up. I don't remember what the next gym is, but I know there's a rock gym in here somewhere. Oh, come on, youngster Joey. You really got a call right now? Hey, he's got to bring gaming. I just caught a new Pokemon on Route 30. Let's battle again sometime soon. 
But see, when I go back and like, I guarantee you he's not going to have a new Pokemon. Oh, here's a youngster to fight. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough. I mean, I'm not bad or anything. You know, I wouldn't consider myself like an Uber trainer yet. Uh, level six Ratatata, and we're just going to swap for Quilava. Because if we swap for Quilava, we'll still get experience for Bellsprout. That's how this works. My defense fell slightly. Is it going to matter? Mm, probably not. Probably not at all. Ember, goodbye, rat tad, uh, rat at whatever. Bell, uh, Bellsprout 47, Quilava 20. All right, come back, rat tad. Go Zubat. Ooh, hoo, hoo, Zubat. Ooh, boy. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. If you could see me right now, I was rolling my eyes, but you can't see me, so it really doesn't matter. Bye, Zubat. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, come on, man. Uh, okay. Oh, he confused me, didn't he? I didn't even read that. Oh, he didn't confuse me. It failed. All right, there we go. I'm fine. <laughs> Come back, Zubat. Come back, Zubat. Come back, Zubat. Anyway. Hello, youngster. You are right in my face. Uh, which way is the right way to go? That's that's a good question. There's a girl scout, uh, girl scout, girl scout over here. Apparently, I can't speak very well today. Uh, there's... There's some, do I want to go that way? I, you know what? We're trying to level up. So maybe I should go fight that girl scout. Oh, potion. I got a regular potion and put it in the medicine po pocket. All right. Well, what's up with this girl scout? Hello, miss girl scout. Uh, huh? Yeah. And you know, pardon battle. I'm on the phone. Duh. Oh, all right. But make it fast. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Anyway, that was uh, awkward. Let's grab out the Quill Lava because Bellsprout is not going to be able to handle it. And he scratched me. Ow, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Ember. He, she only has one Pokemon, which is really good. Uh, so we don't have to... It, I'm making it fast. It's definitely going to be fast. Two turns. I mean, come on. The only way it could be any faster is if I... Oh, I'm a youngster now. I didn't even notice. I leveled up. So is that how I get new skins? Is that how that works? Oh, Bellsprout's level 7. Look at that. Got a boost to 9. Learned growth. Oh, and he's level 8. Didn't expect him to get so much experience. Bye, Nidoran. Picnic or Liz. Take it easy. That's mean. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I needed to whine. Uh, okay, sure, I'll give you my number. You guys don't call me all the time or anything. I'll let you know whenever I want to battle. Yeah, I'm not coming back. All right. There was a way to go over there, wasn't there? There was like a... There was something over this way. What was it? Oh, it just cuts through like that. All right, I guess that would be a way to avoid the youngster. Oh, a Mary! There we go. That's what I've been looking for. Could have been helpful. I don't know last episode but or well beginning of this episode but it's fine it's fine I, I won't I won't complain I won't complain because I do need it we do need an electric Pokemon that is a, a necessity how did I get three premier balls where did those come from oh because I be a gym oh you get them for every special occasion so buying pokeballs from the Pokemon Center gave me a premier ball I think beating the gym leader gave me a premier ball oh okay that's really cool so I have three of those now, and I caught the Mary. So we are going to have to get that in our team next episode. So it's a good thing I went through there. What, is, what are the details? It's a wool Pokemon, not a sheep Pokemon, a wool Pokemon. Six meters, 0. 0.6 meters tall, 7.8 grams, and it's an electric type. And it has three evolutions, two evolutions. All right, cool. No, we're not going to rename it. It was transferred to our box. All right, we're going to back up a little bit. Uh, no, that was not what I meant to do. I don't want to be in that grass, basically. Let's talk, let's how, let's see how, uh, uh, Bellsprout's doing. We don't talk to him ever. Oh, he's looking around restlessly. He's a restless soul. But, sadly, that is all the time we have for today's episode. In the next episode, we will be making our way to the next town. I will have a Mareep in my, in my team. 
and it'll be fun. So if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like or a comment. And if you are new to the channel, I would always appreciate it if you did subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye!